okay. It's like the third time I'm shooting this little cell phone video. Now, three things agree. Spirit, water, blood. Ephesians 1, 23, the last few words was, it's all in all. And it made me wonder, oh, I felt like it was a revelation, actually, because scripture came to mind. I'm like, whoa, 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 let me share this, right, with other believers. So now, those three things agree. First John 5, 8, spirit, water, blood. Um, and you know how he turned water into wine. So it was Jesus before going through the wine press, the flesh, the word in him, the water already in him. Because when he was pierced in the side, okay, the water was already there. Three in one. That's like a believer having the spirit, which is basically the blood, the Holy Spirit, the blood, and then the spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, because those who have the Son has the Father. You know, and the Son came speaking the Word, and the Word comes from God. So if you believe in the Word, in Jesus Christ, you can't help but believe in God, because Jesus is Lord, you know. And Jesus was God by way of his Word. Because remember, in the beginning, the Word was, was uh, with God, you know what I'm saying? So that's that, right? And then, um, so now we go to, that was 1 John 5, 8. The spirit and the water and the blood and these three things agree, right? And then you go jump down to John 1, 1 through 4. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was a life, and the life was a light of men. <laughs> Yeah, okay, cool. Now, we got that out the way. How I was saying that, it just, I put it in my own words on how I was hearing it, and then that's when I had to look for the scripture to, you know, rally the vibe. Then it go to uh, uh, John 8, 31 and 32. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. He said, "You though, if you abide in me, he abide in you. Mm. Then, Romans 10, 17. Hopefully I got that when I had put my markers there. Romans 10, 17. Let me see if I, I can't pause it. Let me see. Thought I had it set up already. Okay. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. So now, those three things agree. First John 5, 8, spirit, water, blood. And... At the reception, Jesus was there. I believe it was a wedding he was at. He turned water into wine. So when there's the marriage of the Jesus Christ in the church, you have the Father, Son, Holy Spirit there. Right? And you have the wine, you have the flesh, and you have the water, which is the Holy Spirit. All that is there, right there and there, just like it was at the wedding when Jesus' mother asked, hey, look, you know, they need some more wine, you know. Hook them up, you know. He made more wine. 
And then they tasted it and was like, oh, man, this is good. This wine is good. You know, you say the best for last. And remember, he said, taste and see that the Lord is good. And you already know God is good. God is love. And, and the word became flesh. Right? Pierced in the side. Water flowed out, which is the Holy Spirit. And the word became flesh. So God sent this word to free us. The truth shall set you free. And Jesus said he is the truth, the way and the life. No man could come to the Father but by him. And him is the word, the word of God. And therefore those who believe in the word of God shall be saved. Those who put their trust in Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ was the word because everything he spoke was the word of God coming from God. Therefore, Jesus was God, is God, through God's word. Because God's word, whatever God speak, will be. God is God alone. He's sovereign. He ain't no God sitting on the throne with God. He's sovereign. He's God alone. I still haven't wrapped my mind around it, so, you know, this is amazing, right? Here. This is truly amazing. Like three or four words. It's amazing to have three or four words in, in Ephesians, you know. I got this stuff all over the place. I was just running through here trying to, you know, get this thing together so I could make a video and share it, you know. But uh, peace and love, y'all. God bless you.